It's a Thursday morning and Dr. Bing Bing's son makes himself a cup of coffee. He adds non-dairy creamer to his cup. Non-dairy creamers contain an additive that acts as an anti-caking and flow agent. This product is generally regarded as safe by the FDA when used in food applications. Later in the morning, Bing Bing is getting ready to work in the lab. In order to protect himself from the effects of the product he will be working with, Bing Bing wears his lab coat and puts on gloves and a mask. The product is placed in the fume hood to prevent inhalation and to contain spills. Other than the sparkling personality of Bing Bing Sun, what do these two videos have in common? In the one instance, you see Bing Bing adding a creamer to his coffee. This creamer contains anti-caking substances, including fume silica. Fume silica is generally regarded as safe by the Food and Drug Administration. On the other hand, you saw the video where Bing Bing was using a jar of unmixed fume silica in which he used a mask and worked in a fume cabinet. Is this warranted? Could fume silica be safe in one circumstance but pose hazard in another? I'm Andre Nell, Professor of Medicine at UCLA. Please join us in watching the potential impact that fume silica could have when inhaled in the lung. Fume silica or pyrogenic silica is type of silica particles produced in a flame that result in you know, powder and widely used as a thickening or anti-caking agent in food applications. Fume silica is also used in cosmetics, paints, electronics due to their unique properties. One example of fume silica use, usage is by fishermen who coat their flies with fume silica in order to keep them dry and float on the water. Uh, in a recent communication, Dr. Maynard called out a discrepancy between the safer use of film silica in commercial products versus the experimental demonstration of risk. And uh, against this background, we set out to explore the possibility whether the in vivo testing will be duplicated in the lung and whether it is possible to provide a safer design of film silica nanoparticles. We demonstrate that the acute inflammatory responses of fume silica in the lung can be reduced by mental doping. We use flame spray pyrolysis FSP process to prepare the silica nanoparticles. All the reactants pass through the tubings and generate silica particles in a high temperature flame. Fume silica nanoparticles has a higher display of surface salinos, which can cause the perturbation or temporary open of cell membrane, leading to the potassium efflux, NAPO3 inflammatory activation, and the acute lung inflammation, all of which can be addressed by the metal doping, which reduces the display of surface salinos. Titanium or aluminum doping can serve as an alternative for the safer design of nanoparticles, where there's an inhalation risk. In our research, we provide a safer design of film silica nanoparticles by using titanium and aluminum doping using flame spray pyrolysis process. We also established a structure activity relationship that can be used for the safer design of engineered nanomaterials. In this research, we demonstrated that film silica induced toxicity could be reduced through metal doping, titanium doping, or aluminum doping. However, we don't know if those doping could modify their functionality. For example, when film silica is used, in food applications, for example, as anti-caking or thickening agent, if those modifications will change their functions. So further research is needed to determine if those modifications will change their functionalities.
our in vivo assessment allows comparison to the occupational safety and health administration or OSHA threshold limit value for film silica in an occupational environment. It is also important to expand our in vivo analysis to a wide range of commercial film silica, including silica used in the food or semiconductor industries.